A new year, a new Call of Duty comes out. Hey, howdy, how's it going? My name is Benji Pie, and this video is going to be me talking about the COD cycle. Now, I know the gameplay that I have is X Defiant, and a lot of people who really, really love Call of Duty are going to say, hey, you're playing X Defiant, you're not a, you don't love Call of Duty or something. I don't know exactly what your reason may be, but understand that I like both games, okay? I like Call of Duty as, like, is it a genre? Just that, that area of games. I really have enjoyed a lot of Call of Duties. I have never really been a person who is like, man, the old COD was better, complained about a current COD, then later been like, oh, this COD was actually amazing. If I liked it at the time, that's when I liked it. That's, that's typically how it went, for me at least. And we'll get into it. The COD cycle, I'll show the picture right here. As you see at the top, a year in a COD player's life. November, go crazy over how good the new COD is. January, enjoy the game. February, hate the game like everyone else. March, say the older game is now the best game. May, go crazy about the next COD trailer. This is a little bit different though because, you know, sort of timing is different, uh, perhaps a little bit, maybe, off of releasing and things like that. Obviously, you know, for COD, we're gonna get, you know, an open beta and it, there's no, there's no like private betas anymore not just going to be playstation for one week or something like that i think i believe it's going to be two weeks of open beta for everyone to play on which is great and i love that and i'm glad to see that and this isn't going to be a video saying x define is so much better than cod cod is absolutely dog shit in my opinion I don't like skill-based matchmaking. That's why I've been playing a little bit more X Defiant, but X Defiant has its own issues regarding servers and hit registration and things like that. And hopefully that gets resolved. But with Call of Duty in skill-based matchmaking or engagement-based matchmaking or EOMM, whatever, you have this issue of they, they don't have to take out skill-based matchmaking or whatever you may call it they don't need to take it out they can keep it in there they can leave it and it will do them justice they don't care whose feelings that they hurt the cod fanboys are always going to come back and if you feel hurt to be called a uh, like a fanboy you're a fanboy and that, that it's it's all right it's okay to like a game but you should kind of be a little unbiased or sort of Look at everything rationally. Don't just be like, all right, well, I like this game. You like, you don't like this game. You suck. You're terrible. You're garbage. You're absolutely dog shit all at these games. You're so bad. The Helldivers 2 community is like it. Every community is like it. If there's a fandom for something, there's definitely people who are overly toxic and unnecessarily rude about it. When in reality, if you're just a normal person and you hear, oh, I don't like Harry Potter or something like that, you're like, oh, cool. Do you like Star Wars or something? And if they say yes or no, that's how the conversation goes. You just go off of that. You could talk about other things or just ignore them. Maybe you don't even know them and you just heard it at like a coffee shop. Just walk the fuck away. For me, I played, you know, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. I didn't play the original COD 4, I, I wasn't alive for that, but I've definitely played Modern Warfare 3, and then I went back and played Modern Warfare 2 when I, like, you know, sleepovers with my cousin, and that was great. I absolutely loved that. It was a lot of fun, just 1v1ing on Rust all the time, or just other maps, just playing around. Uh, also played with friends. Like, sometimes you'd go over to a friend's house, they had Modern Warfare 2. Not the newest one, obviously, but, you know, being like a 12-year-old or whatever, I don't know how old I was, but playing Modern Warfare 2, like, all on one screen there's three people so one person at the top or in the or at the bottom has like the biggest screen screen peaking all that stuff you know i'm used to it uh for call of duty ghost i remember you know that's one of the games that have people fucking hated i loved being able to become i'll have to try and find pictures of it but you could become predator i believe on like dlc maps and also you could become michael myers i think with an axe uh, there was probably some other things in there too, but it, that was really fun. I always enjoyed that. I played against bots a lot of the time. Uh, I remember I was, I'd be babysat by someone, so I would I would just play Ghosts because uh, that's what they had on like their PS3 or something like that. That, that was great. I love that. Black Ops One played zombies a good bit. You know, I really enjoyed the multiplayer sniping was something I didn't do, but Black Ops Two I sniped all the time. I used the DSR and I thought the ballista was dog shit, and then eventually when I got older. I loved the Ballista, and I was like, man, this is great. The reload cancel's awesome. I never played World at War. You know, that wasn't a thing. But in uh, Infinite Warfare, I was about to say Infinity Warfare. Infinite Warfare, dude, that was great. It, it, I loved the jumping around and everything. I loved the abilities and all that stuff. It felt fun. I was, I was kind of tired of the jumping around and all that shit, but people still do that now in any game. If there's movement, it's awful. 
But for Infinite Warfare, their zombies was something that was like, nice. I absolutely love zombies in Spaceland. I never got to play any of the DLCs, but I did love zombies in Spaceland. So, you know, comment down below. What was your favorite Call of Duty? That's what I would like to know, because I know that there's a lot of people who are like, hey, I actually really like the games that people hated. You may be like that or whatever, but you know, it doesn't matter. Black Ops 3, amazing zombies. Advanced Warfare didn't really play any of the zombies, but you know, it was uh, it was something. It was something. I know most of these games came out to like combat Titanfall to a degree. Uh, if you got, if you don't know what that game is, then you I don't understand how you're alive. That game does exist still. If you don't know what Titanfall is, look at Apex Legends. But even then, it's not really the same, I guess. And yeah, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, this is about the COD cycle. Sorry to go on a little bit of a tangent. The COD cycle, obviously I described it to start this video, it, it's something where you're, you're sort of just, you're gaslighting yourself as a community. I, personally, uh, know that if I'm going to do a review on the entire game and talk about the campaign, the zombies, the multiplayer, anything that they have to offer, I'm going to have to buy it. Because if I make a review and I say that I haven't bought it, people are going to be fuming. Uh, I honestly those comments are really boring when you say hey I haven't bought this I've seen a bunch of gameplay I've seen how other people feel I've seen how it looks I've seen how it you know plays or whatever it's terrible and people are like well you haven't bought it so now I'm gonna buy it when I have the money I will buy it and it'll be a good review uh, because obviously Treyarch's making it it's Black Ops 6 uh, people are pretty hyped for it, but at the same time, some people are confused. They're like, hey, Black Ops 5, what the fuck happened to that? You guys just renaming shit now? What, what's going on? Apparently, Cold War is Black Ops 5, and they count it as that. Overall, I do have to say, besides, I think it's Black Ops 4 and 3, the campaigns have been good. I didn't play Cold War, but I watched people play. I watched all of it. Really good. I do love the characters. I love how certain characters are treated. Obviously, you know, a certain voice actors not coming back and things like that. That's not the greatest, but overall, great. I, I enjoyed it. But I think after Modern Warfare 2 2022, I think, yeah, 2020, yeah, 2022. After that, I was no longer hyped for Call of Duty games. And it sucked because Call of Duty is that base ground game. It's that game where anyone can really play. It's running around and shooting. It's the typical first person shooter. Like that is what you think of because it's just running around and shooting. Most of them are, unless it's like Black Ops 3 with abilities or something like that. You know, if it's, you know, COD 4, Modern Warfare 3, whatever, it's pretty, you know, down to earth and it, it's great. I do have to say, you know, Modern Warfare 3, 2023, is a DLC. That was something that I knew when I had bought it, but it was, you know, friends were buying it. I might as well play it. I had something to do, all these other things, you know, Warzone, stuff like that. You can grind weapons. It, 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 it's a thing. I ended up buying Modern Warfare 3 purely just to play with friends, and then it was just like, you know, it's just something to do. But overall, Modern Warfare 3 is not that good. Like, skill based matchmaking wise, it's not that good. That is the thing that's happening now. Ever since Modern Warfare 2019, if you are not aware, skill-based, EOMM, engagement-based, whatever the hell you want to call it, matchmaking, was introduced. And they did this to make themselves more money. And that, that, that's why they'll never get rid of skill-based matchmaking. And that's what sucks. That, that's the overall thing that's really terrible about all of this is that it's a business. So logically, not e like empathetically, but logically, it makes sense for, you know, Activision and Xbox and all this shit to be like, yeah, keep engagement based matchmaking in there. We clearly are keeping a lot of bad players as compared to the really good players. The good players don't even spend as much money because, you know, they know that the game sucks, but they play it anyways. And, you know, obviously you, you got a couple people. OK, you got a couple people who are streamers. They're going to buy stuff all the time. They might even get stuff for free. They might be Tim the Tatman or Nick Merckx and get a free skin you know, their own skin in and with which that sort of thing is cool. But then it's immediately deleted when a certain comment or whatever is put on Twitter and people are like, whoa, 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 lead the kids out of it. But we won't get into that overall. Really, it's just really stupid. I, I I'm not looking forward to Black Ops six, but I know that it's Treyarch. And this is the thing I, when I say these sort of uh, anything that's remotely negative and I'm like, I'm not looking forward to it. I don't like it or whatever. It's typically skill based or engagement based matchmaking, because to me, it's really boring to have worked all day, done a bunch of stuff outside or whatever, been like, I want to chill and vibe out. Let me just play some games. And I got people sweating. 
And it's the thing where there are a lot of people like myself who don't entirely just want to play story games all the time. I want to play a multiplayer game. I want to play against other players. But I don't want to play against someone who has not gotten off since the time that I woke up and went to bed yesterday. Like, they just haven't stopped. And, you know, if you're streaming it, you're making videos on it, whatever, like, I don't, I don't, I don't care. It's okay. I'm not judging or anything. You can do whatever you want with your time. But with matchmaking... You don't really find those sweaty players as often. And it, it was very apparent in Modern Warfare 2 uh, for 2022, where if you just played a lot and you leveled up, you got kills pretty frequently and you just perf outperformed a couple games in a row. It took you a while to load into a game. It Your ping would be around 50 compared to the, like 20 or 30 that you were at. And it was something where you just kind of sat there and you're like, man, this is fucking boring. And on top of that, you know, once you once you are queuing against harder and harder people to queue with or whatever, like it's it's this the, uh, engagement based, skill based is it's becoming even more difficult for you. It it takes longer and the ping is worse, the hit registration's worse, the game feels worse. It overall is just worse. But like the game itself can be really fun. That's the thing. For Modern Warfare 3, the movement and stuff was great. I enjoyed being able to like the the movement style and everything, like guns all of it was great. I like I, I like meat. That was, you know, pause. <laughs> but I like meat. That was fun. That that map is pretty great. I like it overall. I don't like rust or anything, but I played on small maps a lot. I like some of the new maps that they've been adding. Modern Warfare 3 was pretty good for 2023. And then they're coming out with Black Ops 6, and I'm like, okay, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not looking forward to skill-based matchmaking. It's just going to make me not want to play because it feels like a chore always does it always feels like a chore it's something where it's very rage inducing it's like an addiction half the time because if there is something that's rigging the system and you are coming in and you're like i am gonna cheat the system i'm gonna use a bot account i'm gonna use a vpn when the lobbies are just always easier you're like well what the fuck this is boring because i know it's always going to be easy i don't want to play on easy mode that's like all right all right we're not gonna play on easy mode so you know you have x defiant which will give you any lobbies unless you play in the welcome playlist which is up to like 25 or something like that i don't even think i can play in, in it anymore but typically you know for for this like for black ops 6 it's just it's gonna have the same issues again and it's not really the, even the last straw people will still buy the games now because so many people are sort of in call of duty now just understanding that oh even if i perform bad i get really easy lobbies that is not fun i don't enjoy that never been fun never been great i hate it i, I want it to burn and, and suffer and all these other things overall i do hope that they just don't have engagement based matchmaking skill based matchmaking or they have the similar welcome playlist that x defiant does because it would be perfect it would be perfect if you want to have if you opt into skill based matchmaking you don't want to opt into skill based matchmaking there are bad players who don't want to play with skill based matchmaking because they notice that the game isn't right for them it's similar to playing fortnite and when you just make a new account or you're playing with someone new or something like that you have, have like your friend is like, oh, I have 18 kills. It's like, John, half the people we've killed are all bots. You haven't killed anyone real. And then you just shit on their whole parade. They're flexing and all this. And then they're like, oh, they're not, they're not real. It's not, it's not real. It sucks. It's awful. No one likes it. Overall, I hope that they, you know, make it, make it better. I, I, I want it to be better. The Call of Duty cycle is real. And I hope that some people... Like yourself, if you happen to watch up until this point, I hope you are not in the COD cycle. I hope you understand what's wrong with it. And even if you do buy the next COD, you're doing it for a reason. You're like wanting to check it out. You're giving a review on it. Or maybe you are buying it for, you know, your little brother and you're like, well, I might as well fucking play it myself. I hope that you understand that it's not going to be that great. But overall, yeah. That's, you know, that's describing the COD, the COD cycle, everything wrong with, you know, Call of Duty right now. Hopefully, hopefully stuff gets better. Hopefully stuff gets better. But yeah, if you don't have anything you want to comment, but you want to be, you know, a little bit interactive with me, let me know that you did watch up until this point. Just comment down pineapples. It would, I would love to see it. I'll definitely heart it. If you're very clever with it, you might get uh, pinned. So that, that'll be cool. I know that's cool. I've always wanted to get pinned by like a pop. Uh, I mean, I'm not popular. Fuck. 
but you know a creator it would be cool to get pinned or something like that by them anyways that's gonna do it hope you guys have a great day night week month whole rest of the year it really doesn't matter when it is hope that's great for you guys though by the way i have a second channel i upload just me playing games with my friends so if you just want to chill time something to listen to some people have fun or whatever it may be go there subscribe it's benji pie 2 t-o-o check it out also subscribe here if you want to see more of my stuff anyways see ya